Yo, thanks for tuning in. I'm Zix Lucian. Let's play a video game. Alright, so. We have killed the convicts past. We have the pilot, the marine, and the hunter to go. So, we haven't played as the pilot or the marine yet. So, I guess we'll start off with the pilot, because I hate myself. So, pilot's not a bad character. He's a fun fella. He's got a shop discount and a couple other things going for him. He's just... <sighs> He's infuriating. That's that's the best way to put it. So we don't have enough money for anything else. Hello. Yes, let me in. I would like to enter that gungeon. Let me in there. Alright, so here's why I hate this character. Did you see how many of those shots landed? The worst. The starting pistol has no range and it's super inaccurate. So it's just awful. Where are the upsides of this character? He starts with the trusty lockpicks, which gives you a 50% chance of opening a chest if you don't want to waste a key. If not, you cannot even open it afterward. So there's like... Unless it's a really crappy chest that you don't want to open, you should never use it. Or if you're just out of keys. If you just don't have any keys, you might want to use it like that. Like a couple of runs ago, there was a room that uh, had a bunch of locked brown chests in it. I would have used lockpick on all of those, no problem. But it's the only gun he starts with, so it's a darn shame. He gets a considerable shop discount as well. Other than that, nothing too special. No enhanced reload times, no nothing. He's just kind of the rogue character. Except he can't do backstabs. If this gun could do backstabs, or if any gun could do backstabs, I'd be pretty, pretty down with that. I guess the, uh... Stuff like the stealth, like the smoke bombs and stuff might be able to replicate that, but I don't know. So, what are we hoping in this run? We're almost guaranteed to get hot lead and uh, a heart locket. Which isn't a bad thing. This game has a bad tendency of giving you whatever you buy from the hegemony shop before you do anything. Which kind of sucks. A little closer, my friend. Thank you. I'm pretty sure the name of that enemy is a reference to Zelda. He's called a gun nut. And in Zelda, enemies that look like that are called dark nuts. So that's probably a Zelda reference. That's that's a big problem I've been I've been noticing with like lots of indie games lately. Games put in so many references to other games. That they, did, they just don't have an identity of their own. And it sucks because... Like, if you want to make a good game, make a game that's worth being referenced. You don't see, uh... TF2 references in Portal. That's amazing, and I will absolutely play this for all of my money. Unless there's something good somewhere else I want to buy. Well, check out the shop before we do anything else. Our main goal right now is to not get hit, so that we can accumulate as much money as possible. So this is the worst gun, and I would like the key. See, it normally would be 25, but four, four bucks off, that's not bad. Hmm. So when we have 50 coins, we can afford doing that three times. Because it increases by 10 coins every time. Take you out. No water barrel in here, so I'm not gonna bother. Uh, we'll go south. I really would like to get the briefcase of cash that we unlocked last time. I will not fight the boss with the starting gun on this character. I will do everything in my power to not do that. Okay. 
anything I can do to prevent fighting bosses with this gun is 100% worth it. Because, I mean, look at it. Unless the boss is absolutely massive, I'm not going to... I'm not going to survive long enough to kill them. Alright, so we'll open this chest because it's a blue one. Uh, this is okay. It basically makes it so anytime you buy something, there's a chance that you get a, uh... You know what, this is going to be a terrible gun, so I'm actually... I don't care if I don't get it. I'm going to use lockpicks on it. Nope! So, I have to fight the boss with this gun. But that's okay, because... Oh, we don't have two more coins. It's alright, we'll at least get two of them. And there's a half heart here if we need to come back for it. We just won't get the health up if we get hit. So we need... Oh, we need 60. Alright. So we need... If this drop boss drops a 50, we can get it. Alright, this sucks. We're basically just hoping that... Pop Pop activates as often as possible. The few times that we actually hit him with this. Alright, alright. I'm reacting pretty well right now. Please do the- Yes, no! That's not the attack I want you to do. Do the missile one! Use your rockets! Use your full kit, don't just spam. Yes, 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 yes. This is the best attack, because you can get so much damage off on him while he's doing it. And it's really easy to dodge. I will- I have two blanks left, sir. I am not afraid to use them. So I'm just gonna start- OH COME ON! Oh, alright. That was just dumb. First Gungeon run of the day. I, you know, I've only been playing Gungeon once a day. That's okay, it's worth it because we got a gun that's actually good. Is there anything left of the floor to, to look through? No. I'm sad that we didn't get the health up, as you could probably tell. <laughs> I guess maybe sad isn't the right word. How about devastated? <gasps> we have 30 coins! I don't know how we got 30 coins, but we got it. Okay, I'm absolutely overjoyed that we were able to afford the uh, third Pop Pop statue. That makes up for all of this. Everything's all better. It's a one run. Maybe blank in here. Oh, we're out of blanks. Did not even notice. <laughs> I guess I just wasted ammo looking for a secret room. And that's okay. Tribute to the gun gods for ammo efficiency. Let's get the heck out of here. I'm sorry that I completely bunged up the boss fight. It was so close. I should have walked a little further away. That's okay. Everybody makes mistakes. Oh yeah, I guess a, and a good thing about this character is that he, uh... He has... Ooh. A little early for that, but that's okay. He has... Extra ammo capacity. And he can hold two active items. Which is actually really good. That was close. Oh, I guess I missed one. I guess I shouldn't just walk past enemies. Sure, it would be nice if there's a teleport at the top of this room, but oh well. I don't know what determines uh, if there's a teleporter in the room. I think it's just attached to the room layout, which I guess makes sense. You just design half the rooms with it and half the rooms without it. That can still screw you over sometimes if you're like really far away from something. Not so much screw you over, but just kind of waste your time. Hello, shop man. 
do you have for me? You got a key? When did I... I guess uh, it's still a key in the shop. None of his guns are really good right now. The blunderbuss is pretty bad. Sir, I need you to stop living. Thank you. Oh, golden key. Yay. I guess we'll find another NPC on this floor. Let's keep it going. You can probably see Pop Pop activating quite often. It is a thing of beauty. Holy crap, did you see how many shots that was? Man, I love Pop Pop. Like, even though we lost that health up, I'm glad that we got Pop Pop early. Let me just hit period instead of space bar. Alright, okay. Yeah, I don't sweat too much about not getting a... Uh, the coolness increase, because I usually don't anyway. We're gonna... Oh, it's Ammo Conda. Which has really good art, by the way, at least in this picture. Alright, out of blanks. Have to actually dodge now. Alright, okay, okay, okay. This boss is super hard for this floor because not only does he have an enormous hitbox for his body, that makes it very difficult to uh, dodge because he's super quick. It's also just really hard to avoid all the bullets that he spawns. I'm out of bullets? Excuse me? I'm really sad that I got hit there because I was that tilted. Like, I want to totally attribute that, that loss of damage, or loss of health, to the fact that that surprised me. What are you? Machine fist. Well, I won't say no to it. I'm really sad I got hit there. Oh, right, it's the Metal Gear Solid 5 hand. So the idea is that you just basically use it as a rocket launcher. Because you only have to reload it once to switch to the fist. But I don't know if the fist uses multiple bullets. It does, it uses 10. It's t <laughs> it totally is! 3, 4... Okay, it use it's more ammo efficient to just do this, I guess. Gun muncher. I only have two guns. So, maybe. What we got? Blue chest. That's not bad. Cell door in here. We'll unlock lock, man. Hello, my friend. My rescuer. I knew you had no choice but to vanquish my fellow lock to free me. An unfortunate sacrifice, but a necessary one. Come by my shop whenever you see me. There are many things in my store that you might find helpful. So that's a really good shopkeeper. Because he sells things with keys. And they're usually really good items. Whenever I see him, I'm usually pretty happy. The main thing I buy from him is the ballot. Because it increases your coolness by three, so you get better drops and your use items will load considerably faster. So it's really nice. Look at the range on this thing. I'm like also like genuinely sad that we haven't gotten a health up yet. So I'm gonna have to start playing really good if I'm gonna kill the third floor boss with no damage. I really don't like this. Oh, <laughs> I gotta make sure I'm actually concentrating before I start talking. Because that's been a problem I've had lately. We also need to buy some keys, because we haven't, like, actually opened anything since the first chest. I don't think there was even anything good in the first chest. If I'm remembering, what did we get? 
We got the familiar face. Which is effectively useless. Green chest is really good. It's at least a third level one, so I'll go here. Buy a key. Give me that. Might be back. Probably not shopkeep. What's in ya? Ah, uh, void shotgun's okay. Nothing too special about other than the fact that I can pop-pop it. So there's no way we get another key. So let's just go in here and use our lockpicks on. It's probably going to break. Oh! And it's health up. Alright, I feel a lot less bad about this entire situation now. And we're at a blank, so let's just leave. So let's see where we are. We've got no ammo for the Thompson. We have a machine fist, which is okay. We got the void shotgun. I think I'll probably just use my regular pistol to keep clearing rooms. Because it has pop pop. It just pop pop makes so many more weapons useful. Even if it's just a small chance. So, in my opinion, the third level is right before it gets hard. Because the fourth level and onward is where I start taking more damage than I should. I'd like to try and alleviate that as soon as possible. Oh, those dodges, though. I really... So those the yellow conjurer guys are probably my least favorite. Because they have so much... What's the word I'm looking for? They, so their bullets are just like a shape that they shoot, but each individual bullet goes in a weird like way. So if half the bullets get blocked somehow, it's actually really hard to dodge. Probably deceptively one of the hardest uh, early game bosses or enemies, because they can they can appear on the first floor. Did I get hit? I'm very sad about that. Get machine fisted. That did not sound good. Alright, that wasn't so bad. He said immediately dying soon after. Oh. <laughs> I'm so tilted from losing both boss fights. And you know, we haven't had a run yet that we've lost in, so I'd hate to, to start the trend now. I also like enemies that put poison on the floor. This poison is so effective at murdering things. The amount of shells I put I put out. Man, I am just getting too close to things. Sir, please. I would like to use this weapon on the boss. So I don't want to waste on the likes of you. Ooh, that's really good. Double vision's so good. No, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it first. So we have something that guarantees all of our shots are doubled. For boss fights and such. Oh my gosh, it's a key? I haven't seen one of those in forever. And we also had the chance. I that was such a roll though. Two mushroom guys, I'd rather not waste my ammo on that. So we're down to half health. But being in half health right now is a lot better than being at half health earlier. I'll take ammo for the Thompson. It's not a bad gun by any means. It's just not the best. We'll probably stop using it next level or the one after. I almost just rolled into that bullet there. So we were talking about game references earlier. One of the games that has a lot of references in this game is Metal Gear Solid. And I've, I've been thinking I want to do a full series on at least... 
one, two, and three. Because they're emulatable. Also, they're the best ones. Probably won't record five. Because five is... Well, Ground Zeroes is a good game. The Phantom Pain is not. Can I just roll today, please? Alright. So, if we didn't get the health up, we're at half health now. Oh my goodness. It's the briefcase of cash. Look how much money we have. It's so good. So, we'll buy the key. We still need to be careful with our money, though. We don't want to spend... Money on things we don't need to. But we should still just, like, be real careful with it. Honestly, as much as I hate the pilot pistol, <laughs> Pop Pop is that good that I can just keep using it for now. It's not going to be used next level, I assure you. It's just nice to save the ammo while I have it. Sadly wasted a blank there. But I think it's worth not taking any more damage than we currently have. Alright, that worked out. It's re- Oh, shh. Just, just, just F me up, fam. Just F me up. Another key, wow. Things are looking up. He says with 1 HP. Okay, so the boss fight is going to go so slick. It's just you'll 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 fall down like an old person in the tub. Which is a very big cause of death I might add. And I, it's it's not something to joke about. How dare you? How dare you make fun of old people? All right, Cam Balrog. We've already seen his intro. Let's uh, CQC it up. Look how much damage this does. Oh, just, just, just! Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was bound to happen eventually. Well, that's the first Gungeon run I've lost, so at least this, this series has been going pretty well. Thanks so much for sticking around. Hope you enjoyed, and I will see you next time.